Hey guys, it's Dr. Childs here. Today we're going to be discussing thyroid beginner series number five. Yes, we're already up to number five. And today's topic is going to be T4 to T3 conversion and really everything you need to know about it, why it's important, why it matters so much. And it's one of those things that you really have to understand because it's it's something that you can take control over if you have thyroid disease and it's something that you can uh, improve upon without taking medications or without becoming reliant upon your doctor and, and things like that. So it's really, really, really important. So let's let's jump in here. We got a couple of sections to, to cover. So first of all, what is T4 to T3 conversion? So just a brief reminder here, but T4, uh, well, T, T4 to T3 conversion is, and we can use this image, is where your body takes the inactive thyroid hormone T4 and transforms it into the active thyroid hormone T3. All right. And so remember from the basic, from previous series, we talked about the thyroid gland produces two thyroid hormones. It produces T4 and T3, but T4 doesn't do anything until it's churned into T3. So the process by which your body takes the T4 and turns it into the T3, that's called uh, the uh, thyroid conversion, or that's what we're going to be discussing today. Okay. So just a quick reminder here. And we're going back to the previous uh, lesson that we discussed, T4 and T3. But your thyroid gland, gland produces both T4 and T3. It produces way more T4, about 80% T4, and about 20% T3. And then the way that your body makes the rest of the T3 is by converting that T4 directly into T3. Now what you'll find, and going back to this uh, image right here for a second, is that there are certain factors which can improve the rate at which your body takes T4 and turns it into T3. And then there are other factors which block this process. All right. And so those factors which block the process may lead to low T3 in your body and the symptoms of hypothyroidism. So the reason that we care about this is because if you can uh, reduce those factors that which block T4 to T3 conversion and you can enhance those factors which increase it, then you're going to be doing a lot for the thyroid function in your body. It's going to help you feel better. And so that's why I talk about optimizing this conversion process. And I think it's perhaps one of the most important things that you can do for general health. Health, All right. And this is relevant if you have a thyroid, even if you don't have a thyroid, by the way, because even if, even if you don't have a thyroid, so let's imagine, imagine we X this out, you're still, you're still getting T4. You have to, otherwise um, you, you need thyroid hormone to survive. So you have to take it. But pay people who don't have a thyroid are given T4 medication, uh, by mouth. And so they're still getting it. They're just taking it by mouth instead of having it produced naturally. So it's important. This, this process is important for those who don't have a thyroid. It's important for those with Hashimoto's. It's important for those with thyroid nodules and thyroid cancer and everything. This matters no matter what thyroid issue you have. So, so let's jump into factors that decrease or blunt T4 to T3 conversion. All right. And so I have a list here, but I'm going to briefly talk about those. So if there's any factor that blocks this, what it's going to do is it's going to uh, maintain a higher level of T4 and reduce the T3. And that's not what you want, right? Because T3 does all of the things that we, we imagine thyroid hormone doing. So that we need more T3 if you want to feel better. So I would say perhaps one of the most important factors which decrease this conversion process is dieting and calorie restriction. This, this basically blunts your metabolism. It slows down all the processes in your body and it uh, incre or re reduces the amount of T3 uh, that you have in your body. And one of the main reasons I think that dieting is so detrimental to your health and to your thyroid. Even if you're overweight and you calorie restrict, it's still going to do this and it's going to make it worse. And this is part of the, part of the reason that most people who uh, lose weight when they do any sort of calorie restriction, always gain it back because of the damage that it does to your thyroid. Another big one is inflammation. So inflammation from any cause. And you know if you have inflammation by checking simple blood tests like ESR or, C or CRP. These are just blood uh, markers that can tell us whether or not there's inflammation going on in your body. Now, inflammation is general. Uh, you probably know that. It can be caused by a number of things. But inflammation in general will blunt this process. Another big one is lack of sleep. All right, so even just not sleeping enough is enough to slow down this, this T4 to T3 conversion process. Um, so if you're not sleeping eight hours a night, that's something you definitely need to work on. Um, intestinal issues is another one. So anything, so a very large per, percentage of T4 to T3 is converted inside your intestinal tract. So anything wrong with your intestines, whether it be irritable bowel syndrome or alterations in your gut bacteria, uh, acid reflux, small intestinal fungal overgrowth or bacterial overgrowth, any of these issues that disrupt the way that your intestines should work normally may reduce the amount of T4 to T3 that you're converting, okay? 
Next thing is um, stress. <clears throat> so this could be uh, emotional stress or physical stress, like even even getting in a car accident or something like that is a is physical sort of stress. Um, but the the other types of stress that we tend to think about or associate with stress would be like going back to what we said previously, not sleeping enough or having a job that's causing a lot of stress in your life. Uh, I mean, you know all the causes of stress, but anything causing stress can blunt this process. Uh, another thing is chronic or acute infection. So I, I say chronic here because you know the acute one. So that's like if you're really sick, of strep throat, or you're getting pneumonia and you're in the hospital, those things slow down your, your thyroid. But other more sinister things might be those chronic infections like the persistent uh, viral infections or fungal overgrowth syndromes in your body, things like that. So any if you have sort of any sort of infection going on, your body has to allocate resources to fight that and to kill it. And that reduces the resources that it can send to to your thyroid functioning. Another big one, and I would say a really important one, is medications or, or our medications. So blood pressure medications, diabetic medications, seizure medications, even iodine. I know it's not a medicine, but can be a medicine, but it's a supplement as well. Uh, PTU or methimazole, those are designed to treat hyperthyroidism. Um, heart medications like amiodarone, and then even steroids. So hydrocortisone, de dexamethasone, prednisone, all of those are known to block this process. And then, of course, I'd say lastly on this list is uh, endocrine disrupting chemicals or chemicals that you come into contact with that you shouldn't normally on a day-to-day -day basis. So what can you do about it? What, what can you do to increase it? So you know you want to avoid these, right? We know we want to avoid these things because that's going to cause harm to your body, but you know that anyway. So how can you, how can you fix those issues? Well, the, the first, or how can you increase T4 to T3 conversion? The first thing is you have to focus on those problems. So identifying that you have those problems and fixing them is the best thing that you, that you can do. But another, and that can be difficult, right? If you don't have a doctor working with you. So I recognize that. Another thing is that you can use certain supplements to do this. So supplements like zinc and selenium especially can help this T4 to T3 conversion process. It can enhance it. Now, I will say they're only going to be beneficial if you have deficiency in those, those um, uh, minerals and nutrients. However, a lot of people do. And so just taking these is often enough to increase the, the thyroid function in your body. And you'll see a lot of patients will, will swear by using zinc and swear by using selenium. Um, and, and it does help a lot of people. It's not going to help everyone, um, but it does help a lot of people. And that's why with my T4 to T3 conversion booster, I put those zinc and selenium in there because it's, it's so beneficial. So that's really the way that you want to think about it. Now let's talk one, briefly about one other thing, and that is you can bypass the T4 to T3 conversion by by taking T3 medication. So remember, if you take T4 medication, which is level thyroxine, um, synthroid, tyrosine, levoxyl, et cetera, which is most thyroid medications, you, even if you take them by mouth, your body, they're not active until your body turns them active or activates them through this process. However, imagine if you just didn't give T4 and you gave T3 directly. If you did that, you bypass this whole system. So even though you have stress or you're dieting or you're on medications that blunt the process, you can completely skip it by just taking T3. And that's a, that's a pretty good strategy for a lot of people. Um, number one, because it helps you get better faster. And then number two, because there's a lot of issues that you may have, um, such as all these listed here, which are blunting that, that um, conversion process. So I just want to briefly me mention that you can, you can address these issues here, all the issues we talked about. You can take zinc and selenium, and a, there's actually several others, but um, we won't talk about them today, or, and or, you can just take T3 directly. So if you use these strategies, you should uh, be in good hands and you should op be able to optimize your thyroid function. So that's it for today for T4 to T3 conversion. This is a pretty complex topic, but we did it in a short amount of time. If you have questions, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next episode.